it's actually super easy to create a cool rewind effect in DaVinci Resolve. No fusion page needed. It's just right there on the edit page. So with the clip on a timeline, this is just a regular stock footage from a guy riding his BMX. We first have to determine the part where we want the rewind effect to happen. So let's say I want to start to right here where the guy is taking off. Then I'm gonna make a cut. You can use the blade tool and just make a cut or you can use your keyboard shortcut if you've assigned that. And then we have to determine the ending part. And this is right here where the guy's landing. So I'm gonna make another cut right there. Then I'm gonna go to this ending part. If there's any ending part left like this here, drag this to video layer number two and you'll see why in a second. So then we have to select the clip that we want this effect to happen. And in this case, it's this middle part right here. Hit Command or Control R if you're on a Windows PC to bring up the retime controls and then you see 100% at the bottom with a drop down menu right next to it. And this is where you want to click. Then you want to go down until you see Rewind and there you have a couple different options to choose from. Let's just go with 100% for right now. And as you can see, the clip extends. And this is why we dragged up this ending part to video layer number two to not get this overwritten. So then we're gonna bring this back over until it matches like this. And right now the rewind effect is already done. Let's just see how that looks. So just a simple basic rewind effect, but you can further customize it. If 100% is too slow for you, you can hit the drop down menu in the middle, then go to change speed and go to, let's say 400%, which will make this even faster. Then bring up the ending part. So if you want to have a little more customizability on how the speed is behaving, you see these handles at the top. You can just click them and increase or decrease the speed to however you want. Or let's say you messed up the frame that you want this effect to start and end. You have those handles at the bottom where you can choose the frame where you want this effect to start. Let's say you want to make it start earlier and then go for longer, let's say something like this. And right now, if we play this back, now you see we have changed the starting part and the ending part, and this is how easy it is to create a rewind effect in DaVinci Resolve. So that's a wrap, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If so, please consider leaving a like and a comment. This would mean a ton to me. But anyways, hope you're having a great day. See you next time. Bye.